Maybe there's a God above, but all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot someone who I truly am. And it's not a cry you can hear at night. It's not somebody who's seen the light. It's a cold and it's a broken heart. What I think when I think of my sister, I think of unconditional love, unconditional respect, and both of those things are very hard to find. And I have been blessed. The words that come to mind are friendship and love and mother and sister and um, mentor. Somebody I want to be. Love left us up where we belong. Where the eagles cry on a mountain high. Love left us up where we belong. Far from the world below, far from where the clear winds blow. When I think of Florence, I think of love. This is for Florence. I love you and miss you so much, Florence. You were like a second mom to me. Always. Judge Cooper, to me, represents a turning point in my life because she was so non-judgmental and so accepting. Florence Cooper was an incredible mentor to every lawyer, her fellow judges, and any member of the profession. I just think she's just this grand spirit, the spirit that you know lived, walked amongst us and today is spreading her love through her work and through all her deeds and uh, the example she has set and the next generation that she left behind for us as a gift. Like you and I alive with all of us. Um, she might not be here in body, but her spirit is in every season. Everybody, look at anybody. Um, you can feel her presence. When I heard that she had, uh, was going to retire from the bench, you know, I saw her uh, in October or November of 20, 2009. And I went up to her and I, I just put my arm around her and said, you're going to break my heart. <laughs> I've got lots and lots of Florence stories, and I don't want to tell them all now, but this is the first anniversary. I miss her terribly. Um, I'm glad that the family is doing well. She is loving and honest, and she was always really open to everybody, and she was always there for everyone, and she was just the nicest person, and she was, all of her achievements in life were just amazing. There's, it's really hard to find words to just describe her. So the one word that I think of when I think of Florence is Nana. She was everybody's Nana, including my daughter, Hannah Rose's Nana. And that just sums it up. Loving, sweet Nana. And if I had just one word to sum her up, I would use the word judicious, because she, she just is what every judge should be. My mother's spirit and soul was so strong while she was here in this physical space but she's free and has been able to touch so many more people.
people as being free. And I think that if that's, if I can aspire to just a small percentage of that, the gift that she has given, yeah. all of us, yeah. anybody that knew her. Yeah, the legacy continues. Life is going on and she has made everybody's